Club. Look, Bobo. That part of the bronchus looks very red and swollen. Oh no, this must be bad. Is this a sign of COVID-19, Nixon? Hmm, I guess not. But red and swollen bronchitis usually indicates bronchitis. Michael's bronchi might be infected by viruses or bacteria, causing inflammation. Patients with bronchitis usually suffer coughing and shortness of breath, just like Michael. <gasps> that sounds scary. Is Michael going to be okay? He's going to be fine, Bobo. He just needs a lot of rest and plenty of water. Ventilation, also known as breathing, is the process of moving air in and out of the lungs to facilitate gas exchange. Inhalation is when air enters the lung, while exhalation is when air exits the lung. A dome-like shaped diaphragm plays a key role in ventilation. Let's click and see what happens to the diaphragm and lungs during inhalation and exhalation. When you inhale, your diaphragm contracts and flattens. The chest volume increases and air rushes in and inflates the lungs. When you exhale, your diaphragm relaxes and returns to its dome-like shape. The chest volume decreases and air is forced out of the lungs. Whew. After a long journey, we're finally at the last stop of the respiratory system, the alveoli. Um, I wonder what this grape-like structure is for. I see the blood capillaries right outside the alveoli, and the red blood cells are greeting me. Hi! Great observation, Bobo. Alveoli is where the gas exchange takes place. When we inhale, oxygen, the good gas, will diffuse from the alveoli to the red blood cells in the bloodstream and get carried to the rest of the body. Wow, that's fascinating, Lucy. But what happens when you exhale then? Good question, Bobo. The red blood cells in the bloodstream pick up carbon dioxide, the bad gas, from the body. When we exhale, the carbon dioxide diffuses to the alveoli and get expelled from the lung. I get it now. Gas exchange provides us with a constant supply of oxygen to produce energy while removing the carbon dioxide from our body. Well done, Bobo! You know everything about gas exchange now. Let's help Michael to collect some oxygen and get rid of the carbon dioxide. Want to watch the full video? Sign up now and get started with your own free trial.